congratulations on your win. First of all, could you have envisioned it any better and can we expect to see you at the newest Liverpool Park? Yeah, it was perfect. You know, we had the interview early on in the week. I told you every time I was shutting my eyes before I go to bed at night and go to sleep, I was visualising that finish. Um, and we've worked on it, you know. Um, back at home in, in, in the gym at Hard Knocks 365 in Florida, there's been certain things tactically that we wanted to do towards that fight as far as counter shots. And like I say, it just come together. How much sweeter is it, obviously, coming off of that last tough loss for you and then kind of turning it around and getting this kind of performance? Do you know what? I've had interviews and I've told people time and time again, listen, like a loss doesn't define us. It doesn't define me. The way that you lose doesn't define me. The best of the best lose. Like we have, we have mistakes, we, we, we have mishaps, but it's all about the way that we come by. It's the way that we persevere and move forward. And for me, that was a perfect, perfect example. The time before that against Bobby Nash is a perfect example. I'm, I'm a warrior and I, I feel like my soul's full of tenacity from the things that I've had and I've endured through my past and livelihood. So, for me to come out, I'm going to keep pushing forward and I'm going to keep giving to whoever stands in front of me. Seen uh, May 27th. <laughs> nah, hey, Dana White and Shul Shelby have got to get me on that card. I'm a hometown fighter. Um, I've, I've, I've been away and had a lot of time away training to obviously up my game and, you know, um, just kind of refine certain areas. So to be able to get on a Liverpool card, what was that, a minute, two minutes that fight? I'm fresh. I'm, I'm ready to go, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, get me matched up. Another exciting fight. Sean Shelby, Dana White, make it happen. What would it mean to you to fight in Liverpool with the Echo Arena? It's a pinnacle. Like, again, we've just done London. We do Liverpool. We're just tick, tick it off the cities, you know? And um, I feel like the UK cried as well. It's, it's amazing that we're coming back to the UK again so soon. You know what I mean? Uh, the fans definitely deserve it. Um, and they've, they've made a lot of noise for the things that they want. And as, as I said before, as a country, um, it's nice to see us starting to take a little bit of ground and really starting to cover it. So, yeah, I, I want to be on that card. It's going to have to happen. And it's very soon, so it's going to be perfect to just keep that fire going. Have you got any opponents in mind? <laughs> Stylistically, there's, there's a few people, but I want someone with it on, a, on a winning record again, someone who's um, strong, dominant. Um, you know, even it makes a fight, Cowboy Cerrone, something like that, would be perfect, you know what I mean? I, I'm a guy who, who can be pushed, who can be tested and we'll give it back to you. It doesn't or more, do you know what I mean? So there's plenty of people out there that Dana White and Sean Shelby between themselves can come together and uh, stylistically we can make the perfect matchup. What's it like, obviously you spend a lot of time in America training over there. What's it like coming over here to fight? And obviously, you know, it's family as well, you mm. have your family here. So does that make your win even sweeter knowing that it's at home? I mean, did you have any family in attendance? Yeah, I've got, I've got loads of people here in attendance. Um, one of the biggest things that people just don't see and obviously it's, it's the high life, we're in the UFC, you in front of the cameras, the TV, people there. I've got a son. I've spent so much time away from my little boy and it hurts. And I use that to fuel the fire and it helps me train harder, it helps me get up on tired days and push myself and go to the gym. And ultimately, you know, I, I, I want to achieve something for him, I want to achieve greatness for him. Um, so my purpose and who I am is, is developed and it's changed and I'm, I'm on the platform where ultimately I can grow with it, you know what I mean? Danny, have you ever hit anyone that hard in your life? People online are talking about the whack, yeah. the sound echo through the room. I, I don't know. Um, to be fair, I, I, was, I was warming up backstage and I'm, I'm, I'm cracking the pads as hard as I can. People are listening to it. They know, they know what I possess. I know what I possess. Sean Sarriano, wherever you are. Jesus. That left arm, that left bomb. Um, I, I know as soon as I can connect with someone, as soon as I line up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna hurt them. So it's just a matter of time to be able to, to prove it. You know what I mean? Are you daring to dream about a 50k bonus for the, for a performance stoppage of the night? And if so, what do you want to do with it? I am. Listen, uh, Oliver and Camp, good guy, and I don't take nothing away from him. It was just a case of, like I said, within the fight, just sizing him up, waiting for that counter attack, whether it be a lead hook or a backhand. The backhand, everyone's seen it once before. It landed, um, and yeah, it wasn't necessary for me to finish up. It was already done. Um, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do with it if you get it? Uh, it's going to go into a saving fund for my son. Simple. Listen, I, I work and I graft for something that is bigger than me. Um, and ultimately, these opportunities don't come so often, you know what I mean? Once in a lifetime, shit. So I've, I need to make something for him, a foundation. So once, once this is done, he can, he can live on with my legacy. Danny, there's a lot of black athletes around the world uh, right now doing the Wakanda forever. <laughs> you see that? You saw you do it. Um, I guess, what did the movie mean to you uh, and why do that celebration? Um, for, for me, it's, it's, it's a bit of a statement and I like it. Um, again, 
black power and stuff like that, you know. Um, we should, I feel like we should support each other and support our people and uh, as a nation that, you know, there's, we've got more and more black uh, affluential people coming up, you know, from, from everything, from movie stars, actors, singers, fighters, sports athletes, you know what I mean? So um, I, 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 I like to feel empowered and take that with me and, you know, push it across to others. Because like I say, I came from nothing and I'm making something and I'm going to continue to do that. Massive. It's it, anything like this is an opportunity for people that are coming up, people that um, you know only aspire to be something bigger or greater than what they already are. Um, so you have to grab it both hands because the opportunities don't come around every so often, and that's. That's, that can be the difference between me and someone else. The same way with other fighters, it can be the difference between other fighters and other fighters. It's just that they have the perseverance to keep going and to push on and to, to expand and grow. And you think it'll start faster than that? Oh, yeah, it'll be so quick. It'll be gone <laughs> so quick. A couple seconds, I think. You know what I mean? People, people are excited already, obviously, since they announced it. It's been a lot of talk about it. I've already had a few messages of people bugging me. And I've had to put my phone down because I'm concentrating on one fight at a time. Um, but yeah, we've done the job. Um, it's been nice and quick and fresh, so that's, that's the next movement if I can get it.